All right, all right, all right. Number 64 on the list of the NFL's top 100 players of 2022. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today's Devin White. Uh, it's a player I have seen a lot on this series, giving his opinions on others. Um, it's a player that I enjoy. And it's a player that I couldn't think of earlier in the series. Now, when I think of the three Buccaneers, the three... The three linebackers, I'm led to believe. We've got Devin White, we've got Shaquille Barrett, and we've got... Jeez, it's escaping me again. Nick Minnett. Levante David. Levante David, Devin White, Shaq Barrett. Boom. There we go. Okay. I will say that Levante David is the one that I don't really recognize that, that well, but it's certainly a name that comes to mind when I think of the Bucks. What we've got here is Tyron Matthew, a fellow defensive player, not on the same team, um, a saint. Just on Tyron Matthew earlier this series in the 70s. So with that in mind, let's begin. He's like one of those animals in a, you see on an animal planet, just in an open field, that just running and just jumps on something back. <laughs> kind of like the tiger. 100 miles per hour. Jesus, he does like jumping. But White chased him down. He's different. <laughs> He's about to put him in a chokehold. It's not the UFC, mate. I don't, I'm not saying I mind it, but... That's him. I thought he was there or thereabouts. Look at his tricep. Look at that. That is some real mess. You don't want to get hit by that. Devin White, he's a monster. He's about 245 pounds running a 4-3, coming downhill. What attack! Look, mate. When you hit me with stats like that, we've got to check them. Devin White, six foot, 237. Uh, LSU from 16 to 18 went in the first round of the 2019 draft with pick number five to the Bucks. He's a Super Bowl champion, as we know. He made the Pro Bowl last year. His first appearance. And he runs a 4-4-2. But he does jump a 39.5 inch vertical and a 9 foot 10 broad jump with 22 reps on the bench. So it's a 4-4-2. Not quite the 4-3. But when you translate that to the game, it probably feels like it. Probably the fastest linebacker in the game for point A to point B. He is sacked by Devin White. Oh. He never even saw him coming. It's not just being an explosive player, but it's being able to surprise your opponent. It's no surprise that Devin White's blinding speed makes him one of the league's best blitzing linebackers. It's yeah. intercepted! He just no takes it to about the that. next level. Devin White and I mean, looking at his vertical, his broad jump was, you know, actually, what was it? Nine foot ten. That's still pretty, pretty damn explosive. But when you talk about a vertical jump, anything near, anything, anything in the vicinity of 40 inches is absolutely elite. So that might explain somewhat um, why he loves jumping on people's backs so much. On a delayed because he can right up the gut, and he is so fast. He hits the quarterback 30% of the time when he blitzes. It should be like 2%. You see 22, Brita just late there, speed of white. 30% of the time he hits the quarterback when blitzing. Seems like he's a cheat code of some sort. He's one of the best blitzing linebackers in the league. He gets the pass away. <laughs> oh, that's rude. Devin White, who came on the blitz, blasted Jones. And that's the thing. It's not as if he has to knock the ball out of the quarterback's hands every single time. Or it's not as if he has to get a sack every single time. But if he's putting that kind of pressure on the quarterback every single time, that's when the passes come out that inch or two wrong. And it creates opportunities to get interceptions, right? So, yeah. Made him throw it early. Got the interception. Hey, we put that yeah. blitz on his ass. That boy just hey, threw it on his ass all day. Woo! Force and turnover. You got to respect things like that. Playing linebacker, you got to be a game changer. Jones throws a pass upfield. It's a deflect interception. Give half that interception to Devin White. He's so smart. Mm. He's going to be right there. Can you get half an interception? I don't think you can. On time, right where you need to be watching so much film. Could be a pass deflected, though. You know that run is coming. Good job of recognizing it. It's like every play, he's in the play. He makes so many plays, it's, it's crazy, man. <laughs> Something he's been doing his whole career. 
Devin White with great lateral speed. Whether you're running away from him, throwing the ball down the field, he's a guy that is constantly around the ball. And Devin White comes up with the ball. Devin, man, he's relentless. All right, like he's always gonna right. be my top guy. No, nah, absolutely. His will to be the best at his position is what I really like about him. He's like a homie. He's definitely gonna be a premier playmaking linebacker in this league for a long time. Scary, actually. Yeah. I will say scary. But what else is scary is this guy's out and out speed. And to be honest, this is one of my players to watch this season, Jalen Waddle. I'm surprised he made it so high on the list in his first year. I really am. I don't feel like he. I mean, actually. Look, I'll, I'll be very, very interested to look up this guy's stats, and that's what we're going to do in the next video. Jalen Model, one of my players to watch. Um, from what I did see, you know, he he is he is rapid, he is so fast, and he does waddle. I ain't going to lie. When he gets up to top speed, he waddles, and uh, it's effective. So, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Um, this is this is this is going to be good. See you back here shortly. Peace. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.